Ahava and blessings. Welcome to this episode of Embodying the Shekhinah. This podcast is here to support us in embodying, integrating, aligning with our soul essence, with our light, with the Shekhinah, the divine feminine presence, the life. My name is Aria. I am an ordained Magdalene priestess, a Reiki master, energy and sound healer. And in this episode, we are going to talk about healing. Healing is the big theme during this Virgo Elul lunar cycle. So every lunar cycle begins with the new moon and we just had the new moon in the sign of Virgo, the priestess virgin, queen, sovereign, the goddess. And Virgo is all about healing and all about union. The divine union of the polarities within us. And as I meditated and opened myself to receive what needed to come through for this episode, everything that is coming through has to do with healing. It is healing the body, healing the womb, healing the feminine, healing the lineage, healing with the mother, healing the family, healing, 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 healing everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, um, but this is this is the cycle we're in, and we are in eclipse season, so we are right in the thick of one of the strongest times energetically of the year. There is Mars being in Cancer, the shadow of Mercury retrograde, Pluto being back in Capricorn for a bit. Like there is a ton of intense energy. And all of it has to do with our growth, has to do with our healing, has to do with our activation. And you will notice that oftentimes I utilize the word activation with healing and I interchange them and the reason for this is that when you heal you liberate something that needed to be let go of and I'm being very mindful of my words because this is the month to be very mindful of your words so I didn't want to say release because when you release you are re doing it again leasing and turning into another agreement so it is very very important to be aware of the words we are choosing because our words create frequencies and healing is an activation because when we heal when we liberate um, a layer of self a limiting belief a karma a trauma when we transcend that circumstance and we're able to experience the trigger and choose a different expression and not go into the same rabbit hole of the pattern that we're used to, then we are evolving, then we are activating because we are activating a new level of ourselves. We're activating a new dimension, a new expression of our light, of our soul. We're allowing more of our soul to express herself through us. And this is, this is part of this ascension. This is this awakening process. This is this energy we're, we're in. All of us as a collective and on an individual level. So healing. Thank you. 
transformation of alchemy. You incarnated, we all chose to incarnate in this earth at this time to experience this great process of unveiling the layers, of shedding the layers of ego in order to embody our light, our soul, in order to stand in our sovereignty, in our power, and let go of the fear, let go of the guilt, let go of the shame, let go of all of the programs that have kept us enslaved and ensnared. So the thing about Virgo is that Virgo can have nervous, a nervous disposition because of the, the influence of Mercury.
with someone who is safe, truly emotionally safe and available, will feel boring. <laughs> It'll feel like, oh, this person doesn't do anything. They don't react. But that emotional clarity, that calmness, is really what we need to evolve. channeling, 
What I say will not be accurate. Why will it not be accurate? Because my emotions are affecting the reception of the information. I am coloring what I am receiving through the lens of my own traumas, karmas, limiting beliefs, experiences, blah, blah, blah. And this is what is tricky. Because as a healer, as an intuitive, we have to constantly be on our A game. We have to constantly be doing the work. We cannot be a teacher if we are not constantly birthing and rebirthing ourselves and going through deaths and reawakenings and reemergings. It's just not possible. Because in order for us to have the clarity to accurately deliver information, to accurately perceive what's going on, to accurately hold a container of healing, we must be clearing, healing, purifying our own waters because there will always be new layers and new depths to access. as to what needs your attention, what needs your nourishment, what needs activating, what needs to be cleared, what needs to be purified. And then we have the tools. And this is why in my work, I share mantras, I share mudras, I share practices, I share sound, because sound gets to the heart of the matter and begins clearing on a cellular level the waters of your creation, the water, because sound affects the water within your cells. And it is beautiful to see how people transform with sound. So the tools I share on my YouTube, on my Instagram, so feel free to follow me, they aid us in when we feel triggered, we know what we can go to. We have our tools in the tool belt. To basically be like, okay, instead of deciding that I want to do something toxic and, um, I don't know, drink a whole bottle of wine, um, what else, um, go down the rabbit hole of, of stalking my ex, whatever, um, doesn't matter what it is, or have that argument with my mother or my father or my sister, instead of doing that, we're like, no, we take, we take a breath, we know we're triggered, and we breathe and we're like, okay, what can I do to align me with the light? What can I do to align me with the light of my soul, with the divine, with the highest expression of my soul essence? What can I do? And it may take a meditation. It may take a sound activation. It may um, take, um, I don't know, a breath work meditation. It may take a mudra practice. It may take a movement meditation. It may take mantras. But the thing is, if you follow your teachings, the wisdom codes that are being shown to you, you will just be like, okay, I'm going to do this celestial movement meditation. And that's what you do. Or you're going to recite the Aramaic rosary. And you do that. And those will all make you feel better and align you with the fullest expression of your soul. Right, Jada? Right, Precious? My husky decided to come join us for a bit. So, those are all ways that we can choose our frequency, choose our alignment, because we don't, we don't have to continue perpetuating the drama, the pain, the loss, when we choose something different, we elevate our own frequency. We transcend and we can cement the new frequency into our expression. We can solidify.
co-create our experience. We take action from a space that is centered, grounded, in alignment with your soul. And every step you take, to you. 
toxic because it's traumatizing your mind and it's teaching you to maintain the, the parasympathetic system to basically disengage your sense of safety and to constantly be in fight or flight. So that's what it's teaching you, that you're not safe. And as a woman, that's the worst thing you can do is not feel safe. This is why so many women have problems with orgasm, have problems with intimacy, have problems receiving love because we are so busy giving it that we don't know to receive, that we don't know it's important to have this harmony between giving and receiving, that it's important for us to be able to feel safe and in order for a woman to experience that kind of depth and pleasure in the divine union with their mate, we must emotionally the womb the yoni doesn't open without that without us being safe in our body safe in our emotions safe in our environment it doesn't and on that subject of healing let's talk about our partners healing the womb space of our womb store emotions they store karmas they store traumas they store all kinds of stuff from our lineage and from the partners that we engage in and it could just be a kiss you're still in energetically linking yourself to that person and the longer you are intimate with someone the more you begin to receive and take on their karmas their traumas their demons their whatevers so, it's very important to always be working on your womb, on clearing and healing the womb space. And on my YouTube, I'm going to make sure that I share a couple of practices to clear the womb space. Because it's super important. Because if the waters of your womb are not, I'm going to say it, pristine, pure. And by this, I don't mean virginal, like in the toxic sense. I mean that you are whole, that your energy is your energy and is not commingled with somebody else's tox toxic stuff. Okay. If as a woman you are not purifying and your creation isn't in that whole sense of wholeness, in that pristine nature, in that sovereign essence, then then what's going to happen is we're going to be creating from those traumas, from those limiting beliefs, from those karmas of that person that we either are in a relationship with or we were in a relationship with. And remember, the more partners you have, this isn't shaming, you're, if you're not doing the work to clear your womb, you're basically creating with all of their stuff. So imagine all of the confusion of all of those different energies competing to create more toxicity in your life. And then you wonder why everything is a mess. For a woman, it begins with the womb. The womb is the portal to your creation. The womb allows you to allow the frequencies of your creation to rise into the heart, to unite with the higher frequencies of the Shahina of your soul in order to embody the light of your soul. You following? So, clearing and purifying the womb, very important. And then, y'all have an energetic womb. So if y'all think you got a free pass to go and do whatever, you don't. Because you also take on the energy of the women that you're with, or the men, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter your denomination. <laughs> we all take on the energy of our lovers. And if we aren't purifying, then it's a hot mess. Don't say I didn't warn you. But since it's Virgo season, we have this opportunity to heal profoundly. We can heal so deeply this month if we align with our light, if we allow ourselves to let go, surrender the stuff that doesn't serve you. Let it go. It served its purpose. We're grateful for the lessons and it's time to 
experience a new frequency. And if you're ready, then let's do this. And if you're not ready, that's okay too. the show 